Today, just a remarkably good day up at Rockwell Ducati. It was our first meetup of the year. We linked up at Luciano and his, uh, I don't know what he's doing here with MotoGP tire cleaning. But anyway, we did get a, we linked up with him. We had a sweet ride up there, up through the park. The park is not what it used to be years ago, though. It's crowded and there's people there and it's only going to get worse as the weather warms up. So anyway, we got to Rockwell Ducati, meet up with the people we haven't seen all winter. In particular, Charlie had done a lot of work on his bike, an exhaust system, a chip, and among other things. Some of the other friends, Jose, we haven't seen Jose in a couple of weeks, actually. And Vince showed up with his classic, I don't even know what you would describe it. This is a showstopper. He'd done even more work on it, and he anticipates doing more. He's getting ready to retire. I guess that's good. he'll be doing even more work on it. A sweet motorcycle, very sweet and great sounding beautiful bike and of course the usual suspects and they're all starting to come out of the woodwork now this time of year as the weather warms up <laughs> they're coming out of the woodwork well everybody that knows me uh, even a little bit knows i hate groundhog days i hate having a day that i get up in the morning and i look outside and i've already lived this day i i like every day to be different yesterday off the chart different we had wind come through here it was not a day I was able to ride. We had family things to do. We had gardening things to do. But in the afternoon, the wind kicked up to where it was just crazy. And we had some really bad things happen on the property. Now, it was kind of an unpredictable day. We were sitting on a porch. The wind kept getting worse and worse and worse. And we heard a loud thump, like, like a plane crashed in our backyard. Well, what happened, the little string that goes around the umbrella, it's a little cord, like a black cord, and when we put the umbrella down, you tie this around. That string had, because of the wind blowing, had popped loose. The umbrella popped open. And it took, as it went flying, it took the picnic table and one of the chairs with it. And believe it or not, it broke an aluminum leg off a chair. That's, that's almost as thick as your wrist. It broke it in midair. So to, to, to say I was depressed yesterday, the understatement. <laughs> Did not get to work on motorcycles. Did not go for a ride. And today, I don't know how it's going to play out. I'm going to link up with Luciano, go for a short ride. But Karen has changed a lot of the plans for our garden. So what that means, it changes our riding plans too. So maybe some gaps in the video here. I don't know how this is going to play out. But that's the beginning of yesterday's adventure. But there's more. So early on a nice brisk morning, you notice there's supposed to be eight chairs. There's only seven. Well, this is pretty funny. And I know you can't really make this up. We now have, this chair was behind the pond, and this is solid aluminum. Now look at this. I, I assume it's aluminum. Yeah, maybe it's steel for all I know. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show somewhere on a future video how to fix this with carbon fiber so it doesn't look real ugly. But I was hoping I wouldn't have to do that. Also, our umbrella, and this is the little string I was talking about. I don't even know if I can fix this because the pipe is broken in three places. I don't know, but it's just the world of unpredictable things. So here's the other part of the funny story. The table, of course, blew away. That's no problem. That's, that I got back into without a problem. It, this area of grass here, I've always done my painting here and done all my work. And it's been annoying because, uh, you know, the grass really doesn't grow well here. There's not enough sun or anything. So what Karen decided, she wanted to have stones put here, like we have around the pond. Well, we call up our friend, the contractor, who didn't return calls for two or three days, and then said he's going to be here at 8 o'clock, never showed up. I could have gone riding that day. We made an, another contact at, through, a, through a friend of a friend. His friend said he'd be here at 6 o'clock, never showed up. So what Karen suggested, and I know she's right, just do the job myself. So... We're going to be working on a yard the next week or so. Probably not get a lot of riding in, but <laughs> then we, the good news is this didn't do any damage and nobody got hurt in the making of this movie here. It looks like it's going to be a nice day to link up with Luciano, see if he wants to ride this morning. But that's the story of my life. Every day is just a little bit unpredictable, a little bit different. I never know what's going to happen. Two flat tires and 1,500 miles on a brand new bike. I don't, know how, I don't know how to even uh, think about that. Some really good news. I spoke to Vlad last night. He has some issues with his house going on with gutters and stuff. 
And he said he put the sprocket in the mail, means I'll probably have it in three or four days. I can finish up this project with the wheels. And I still want to get a, a, a genuine test ride with uh, the FZR. It's a lot of stuff all happening at the same time. And we got the black wheel, we got the new tire downstairs, that's ready to mount up, ready to install. I don't know where this is all playing out, <laughs> but that's what makes life fun. It'll be nice to get the, uh, the, the gold wheel back on this so I can move it around in the garage. And the other day we got some of our material in-house, some of the stuff's coming by, by mail in the next few days. We got our starter pots, we got our shelf made, Karen is in the mood. To start her garden just like a restoration every year we do the garden but no matter how your day plays out riding or yards yard work you got to start with the maximum coffee and then as if we didn't have enough action going on around here we got some more parts I think there's a tripod in there I didn't even open it up yet but that's what I really want to that's my next focus is getting that sprocket from Vlad getting rid of the old one and swapping the wheels on a GS and then we'll be ready to head out for a nice comfortable ride with brand new tires on a GS. And we rode the 750 a few days ago and I'll be real interested in seeing if this muffler is going to be good on that or on the FCR or both. And we're down to having only two more tires to mount and we'll be ready for the summer. Summer's coming. And I feel real good about it and again thank you Turbo Steve for the Windslayer information and then the only thing left I got to figure out is how to get something like this on a Canon camera so that we can get rid of some of that wind noise without having to edit it out. And the bike's all pre-flighted, the birds are chirping, the sky is blue, Luciano's gearing up, we're gonna meet at Choppers. All those hours of restoration and I'll have that bike till the day I die. I really do enjoy riding this bike. Come on, you guys, it's time to eat. I'm not making you coffee, you're only getting food. No coffee. You can tell summer is here. I've already got to wipe bugs off the face shield and the bike. And I remember days here at Choppers, we'd have 15, 20 motorcycles. Wow. Back in the day, back in the old 18 days, great memories. Yeah, the bugs are already out. I wiped some of the bugs off the windshield already. There's some on the helmet. I'm sure there's some on my jacket when I take it off. Spring is in the air. Anybody who doesn't know why we call this choppers, it used to be the building that's now fast and all. They used to sell big bear choppers and you'd come here and it'd be a bunch of those choppers. I don't, I don't even know if they sell them anymore. They, it's now, it went from big bear choppers to fast and all. They sell bolts and nuts. Pretty cool. And here he comes, MotoGP champion. <laughs> it must be a ninja day. Kawasaki Ninjas cleaning up his tires for the big lap ahead. <laughs> oh man, what a day this is turning out to be. It's a ninja day. Looks nice and clean. I bet you, uh, what'd you power wash it? <laughs> my poor umbrella wound up all busted up. Oh my God. Karen's so mad. <laughs> You want to switch going up to Perry's? Just stop at one of the circles. Just go keep. It looked like it would be a two-stroke day today, but uh, I guess it's a it's a ninja day. A ninja day. What could be better? You want to be. It's got enough a nice enough sound. When you came over the bridge, I could hear you coming. Yeah. Just got a really nice sound. 50, I like that. Fifty-five horsepower. 
What was that muffler about? A hundred dollars? Uh, I don't see. I don't remember. Well, it can't be well, expensive, or you wouldn't fee buy fee it. For <laughs> fifty bucks. Now, what is this made in? Uh, in England? UK. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that, that's fine. See here, you could do just polish up that pipe a little bit. Put a little compound. Why? Come on, come on! It's beautiful muffler. Uh, now you got a rusty pipe. Come on, you're riding with the Polish boys here. A <laughs> Polish. I, I got don't know what we are. Oh come on! If you had how many women, you wouldn't say I got too many women. Well, I can't that's kiss a different them. Story. Oh, it's not the same thing. You know, this whole bike is more parts made from China. This little thing is nice though. Hey, you got a lot of. This is a real Christmas tree bike. Holy crap! Oh, what are you? Oh, I could fit that onto my bike too. It'd be 10 miles an hour faster. Holy mackerel. More Christmas tree ornaments. Wow. I know Ray loves his. He's loving it. More, every time I talk to him, he likes it more than the time before. And now what is this? You opening up a restaurant? <laughs> <laughs> I got that sign in your garage. Felicia's uh, pizza parlor or whatever it is. Yeah, that's cute. <laughs> My, my son said, Man is losing his mind and he didn't have that much to begin with. <laughs> my son sent it to me. Your son sent it? And this is why we don't ride the park much anymore. So much traffic, uh, so many bicycles and everything. We did have a nice uneventful ride. But of course, every ride, when you have a Valentine radar detector, it becomes a little bit of an adventure. And we had two of them on this ride. And here's one. Look across the street. Now, Luciano just slowed down in time. So did I. And I heard that beeper go off. And of course, the parts of the park that aren't crowded with people and hikers and, uh, I don't know, people walking dogs and everything. It seems like just such a shame that because of COVID, so many people have migrated from, I guess, from New York City up here. It's really not the park it used to be. And coming down off the mountain, guess what? Another radar save, and luckily Luciano hit the brakes just, just in the nick of time. So it looks like all the usual suspects are here, and a few more. So it was a nice ride up here. I see we got a few people that have survived the winter that are here. Looks like Jose's here, Jerry's here. Pokey's here. Who knows? These are the real hardcore people. I think I saw Elvis in the background too. Not sure. And you never know who's here and who doesn't make it through the winter. It's an adventure. I'm doing good, Joe. How about you? I'm surviving. Made another winter. Another winter you survived? Like a bear coming out of hibernation. Like a koi coming out of hibernation. Oh, man. Hey, that radar detector saved your bacon by the circle, baby. <laughs> Luciano that had a nice Valentine radar save. It really did save Luciano's bacon, that's for sure. So we had two radar saves going through the park here. I don't know if I got them on video or not. It doesn't really matter. Ah, we haven't been here in so long. They probably got all new bikes upstairs. Oh, my God. It's definitely better than a day on Rikers Island. So, Charlie, you survived okay, no problem? I, I got a shot uh, yesterday. I got my shot a couple of days ago, yeah. Yeah. Good, the good. I got. You got a Ducati shot or a Yamaha shot? <laughs> you see my new bike? Yeah, I did, I did, I did. I, I'm impressed. So what else did you I do? I got rid of the catalytic converter. Okay, you did the uh, exhaust. You got to do a chip coated, when you do that? Powder coated. Yes, oh yeah. You got to yep. do a chip? Okay, yes. so you got bucks here. Yeah. How much money you got invested in this already? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't, my lawn, I, my I don't lawn furniture, my lawn furniture blew away yesterday. Oh, really? There goes my Terminoni money. <laughs> <laughs> my umbrella wound up destroying my backyard. This, this. 
Charlie really did a nice job on the bike. It came out great. This is one of the ones I really think is cool because there's no fasteners showing anywhere. If you if you look at this close, where they did the bodywork joints, no fasteners, none of those silly Zeus things blanging okay. around. I think that's pretty cool. And nice wheels. Wow, you went for the big bucks wheels too. <laughs> I'm just trying to make you look appealing to women. <laughs> right, this is going to be a big job. <laughs> Maybe an impossible job. I don't know if the I should 20, surrender. The 21s, by the way, have a bigger, they change it. what they, they do? They have a bigger fairing. Ah, I like this fairing. Oh, this is nice. And that exhaust fits on a Ninja. You could put it, when he's having his coffee, yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll take no it off. <coughs> this is much lighter. Are you sick? Do I have to stay away from you today? No, I'm good. Stay downwind of me, please. Even though I got my shot, I'm not happy about it. The truth is, Pokey didn't sound so good. No one. Yeah, did you get a new chain on your other Ducati too? Oh, but I did. Uh, you only did yeah. the overhaul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah You're that's nice. You see that chain that clean. So take a picture. Now look, Luciano's gonna take your muffler. I'm gonna take the chain for my bike. <laughs> so you're gonna come out and give it I the should, gas. It's I gonna should. be loud and it's not gonna go anywhere. But who cares? When you have friends like Luciano and Wendy, you don't need to worry about no theft devices. <laughs> All right, so how do you say that word? Luciano, you're a, you're a, a Termingioni? No, no. Terming, terming macaroni. It looks like a macaroni thing going up there. Why can't it just come right out the side like a pepperoni pizza? There's, believe me, there's a very heavy catalytic converter that's gone. Now let me ask you, let me ask you a true question. You are sworn the truth now. Luciano, got to tell him the truth. Did you get this for under $50? Because Luciano has one that says Termignoni and it's only $50. It's a made in China. I know it's made in China. With the sticker on. can't. You buy that sticker, that's all. All I know is the box that came in. Handmade in Italy. That's all I know. This is made in China, Jolly. What are you kidding? Terminoni is a Chinese word. It's much lighter than You know, when I go for oh, Chinese food, they have general Terminoni. Like, <laughs> <laughs> really... The man, the best dressed man here. Where, where's the white leathers today? Ah. Oh. Here comes the man in black. <laughs> He's copying me. <laughs> Shiny his pants he, off. He puts look, 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 you were, uh, Jerry, you buy new clothes every week. What do you do? Look, mine are not that close. He shines them. He I'm shines them. You. And you know what? He I, doesn't. He doesn't have any duct tape patches on his knees. Yeah, There's a difference between these and those. Yeah, yeah, I'm <laughs> They're from Pakistan. These are from America. Pakistan, <laughs> Pakistan has a made in China. <laughs> Oh man, you are the best dressed guy I know, except and, for and good looking. Only Glenn. Well, no, Glenn Hansen spends more money than you, though. Winter. All right, so here I'm just looking. This is a Michelin Five. So, uh, I'm, I'm glad to see Luciano. I want to see how mine is going to wear. Did you watch Chico all over? Everybody I know that has a Michelin Five seems to like. I know, I know. But I, I it's I, good to be back. I, We're I, back. I, Spring I, is I, here. I, Bugs I, are on a face shield. Guys are spending money on custom exhausts. Yeah, Jerry's about? got new leathers. And and Joe's looking another year younger. <laughs> Aren't we all? So, Pokey, how is the Guzzy doing? The Guzzy behaving? Which one? Clean. This one, the new yeah, one. Being very well how very many well miles? Behaved. How many miles? Almost 8,000. 8,000? I had that the first month I had my MT-09. <laughs> yeah, but you don't have four granddaughters. What, what do you do, sit and polish it all day? You don't have four granddaughters. He sits here. <laughs> hey, I didn't, Charlie, you got to start spending more money on accessories. These naked bikes got to go. <laughs> you know the truth? The truth. You could buy some carbon fiber parts, you know. Hey, Vlad he, will get them for you cheap. he spent on that bike, I don't think I spent on anything. <laughs> He's got the money. He's know, got yeah. the money. No, I had the money. But no, the truth of the matter is, this, and I love the bike, this is cheaper than buying a new, let's say, V4. This is why I do Yeah, of course. And don't it's forget, in the... It feels like a new bike. I will be the executor of your will. <laughs> no, he's got a rich and I'll only take one no, of your no, collector he's got, he's bikes. Got a rich dog. 
<laughs> he's got a rich dog. I know he's got a rich dog over here. <laughs> I gotta warm this video. Charlie, ride safe, baby. Those cops are in the park. I'm coming back. I'm just taking a short ride. We gotta coming. listen, listen. You gotta record the sound when he gets off. Yeah, let me see what he paid three grand for. This does have Classy, you gotta take all of that. If we're gonna take it, I would have went for a V4, but now I put money into this. That's it. This is my bike. That's what Lucha and I do. We buy a bike for three hundred dollars, put money into it. <laughs> That's pretty. Cool. I'm amazed. It's so nice and clean. I really am. You can admire my chain. I, I'm gonna admire your chain while you stand here talking instead of riding. Yeah, Look at what a beautiful day it is, and he's talking. Uh, life at the top of the food chain is good. All right. oh, hey, don't get fingerprints on Charlie's bike. Oh, that's the last time it'll be clean <laughs> until he buys another exhaust system. Holy, that is the cleanest bike. Maybe, maybe soon he'll start uh, showering regularly. And uh, wow, it looks nice. They did a nice job. Permignoni forever. Permignoni pepperoni. All the big money's coming in here now. Look at those. Look at that bike. Whoa. Oh, he gets a car. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, they're all coming out of the woodwork now. First nice day of the year. Hey. Yeah. Some of those starter clutches aren't easy. No, Luciano said the same thing you said. <laughs> same thing. And you still wow. need a puller, even. Oh though. yeah. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Boy, this looks better every time I see it. It's a good old. You gonna go to the bikes and breakfast tomorrow up in Monroe? Yeah, how are you, sir? Nice to see you. This is new. He painted up the back. That was that was neat. Yeah, the back where the brake is. Oh. Look, he's got. He did the front too. Look what a little stripe. Yeah, you can tell this guy's an artist. Look, he puts a little pinstripe on it. Paints the forks. Nice. Hey, Vince, we're noticing all your little details here. Hey, you see I did the rear hub? Yeah. Did, did he do the rear hub? What are you? I judged more bike shows than you've been to. Oh, it's true. It's true. Oh, my God. See, nice little details like this. It's all about the details. Oh my god, this thing looks great. And you did the front cover? Vince, the front cover, you polished that? Yeah. That wasn't polished last time we saw the bike. Yeah, this is all the same. You did it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, nice. Looks beautiful. It's, it's holding up pretty good. It looks great. Now, there's only one thing left to do. The title's got to be in my name. <laughs> I always have to congratulate Vince on a great job. Yeah, that would be smart. And plus, the last thing, and I don't know how to do this, is to get the middle of the wheels. I want to do Yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't want to unstring those spokes, you know? Hey, Vince. Yeah. Your mufflers are too short. They are. And they're loud. Are they? Um, they look good, though. I, I packed them as much a... Uh, uh, packing as I can put in there, but I think it's time to pull it out and repack it again. Pokey, you know what would be perfect? Those Norton mufflers like I have. Those long, thin mufflers? That would look good on... This is a long, skinny bike. They would look great. Yeah, they're, yeah they're 80 bucks a piece. Oh, I think it would look awesome with those Norton mufflers. You know what these blinkers remind me of? What's that? When I was a real a real young man, we used to take a tennis mirror to be legal and put it drill a hole in the handlebar and have a tennis mirror. Yeah. Oh, there are the ninjas around today. Oh my god. Those are the professional riders. Yeah, and I had this little, it's really true. I had a dental mirror to make the bike legal. We were so tough. Stupid is another word for that. But we did it. We did stuff like that. And survived. I'm not sure we really survived unscathed. Spokes and then spray it. You probably could do that, yeah. You know, I mean, it's down to bare metal. I think it'll, it'll take an etching primer and then paint it. 
you know? Yeah, use self-etching primer, of right. course. Right, but I mean, I'll have to put a straw on every spoke and tape each end, you know? It'll take me a day just to do that. <laughs> Good thing you're a young man with a, lot, with a lot of time on your hands. Yeah. No, the beautiful bike you see in real life. <laughs> that is really, this is really a nice, a nice classic. That's not a bad idea. You may paint a little, that much scope. Yeah. I think if you were careful, you could paint inside those hubs with a brush. See you later. You're going to go to the bike meetup tomorrow in Monroe. Oh, I saw that. Bikes and, I sent out the thing this morning. Bikes and breakfast in Monroe tomorrow. At the bakery? Yeah, the, the, where that girl works. I can't think of her name. The girl that used to hang out here. No, I don't just go there. Just so I don't play with roots. That's the weird tire. Too bad it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow. It sounded like cubic money when you went down a block. Yeah, that was me. Yeah, I saw you. Okay. Did you get on it? Oh, there he is. Yeah, yeah. Charlie, I didn't see the front wheel come up much. Yeah, no, and you won't. <laughs> If I, if, if I wheelie, I am out of control. <laughs> You're out of control when you're parking a bike. Jose's hiding behind the no mask rule. I don't think we're going to see him today. This is funny is where old tires come to die. <laughs> oh, they had a good life. Had that on the yeah, the old bull taco. Yep. Oh, yeah. On the cars. Yeah. Yeah, the Amol's always had that. Yep. They never had a kick on it. Your, the bodybuilding championship is across the street, sir. <laughs> How you doing? See that bike over there? The red one with the red I took helmet. a picture. It's the best that bike the here. the best motorcycle right, ever created. Right. I know. I, I couldn't yeah. believe it. I, I asked like, everybody there, and they all said your bike was like the best one there. took a break of creating men right. and everything, he did that. He that made Honda. men, women, and then Hondas. Yes. How do you like that Michelin 5? That, it's very good. It's good? Very, very How good. How many miles you got on it so far? About 2,000. 2,000, yeah. yeah. Looks brand new. Yeah. A, yeah, now if your bike doesn't wear it out, my MT-09 is not going to wear no, it out. No, it's, it's a, a great, lighter bike. It's, re it's really an amazing A nice tire. sticky tire, yeah. Very good tire. Yeah, I, I'm having good luck with mine so far. I, I recommend them. You know, they, right, and if, that, if they just send it back to you and you'll buy them a new one, right? 100%. <laughs> Looks like the whole Ducati Owners Club is coming in here now. But we gotta go. We gotta go see our grandson. We gotta go do yard work. I don't know. We gotta do whatever Karen says we have to do. Golly, you should give him your Terminone. You should be a good Christian. <laughs> I'll tell you where he parks his bike for five bucks. <laughs> Bring a dump truck and I'll take the front end. <laughs> Yeah, I just added these. Uh, okay. Yeah, we're gonna put some track days this year. Okay. Do some track days with Jose. He'll help you out. Jose, you still giving lessons? I do the track days here. He'll give you a track day right up around Bear Mountain. These are the guys. No Terminoni. Now you know how. He couldn't even afford socks. <laughs> so first we get socks, then Terminoni, and then tires. Yeah, in that order. <laughs> it's the Ducati, the Ducati wardrobe of the day. Yep, yep. Look at that, an electric truck. Is that an electric car too? That's an electric truck. Very cool. There you go. Aprilia. Had 70 horses. I don't know, it's but they have 38 70. didn't. <laughs> Even the R90, R90, R90. Yes. What is this? Jeopardy? Yeah. Motorcycle <laughs> Jeopardy. Do you know what a dump truck is? Uh, <laughs> How many carburetors on a seven cylinder bike? What do you got? <laughs> the answer is. <laughs> is it a V or is it a straight? Ask That's Vince. A oh, here's a man that knows everything about Aprilas. What is there to know about Aprilas? <laughs> That might be the same thing as the Chevy. Same thing. 1957 Chevy. They're jealous of the gold wheels, as always. Uh, how much would you pay to have those gold wheels on that bike you have? Uh, let's talk money here. Name my price. Listen, next winter, you know where I live. Come by with that checkbook. Don't put the amount in. You just leave it blank. Uh, me, and, me and Jose will figure out what this job is. Only press
I think we start at a thousand apiece for the wheels. <laughs> Holy shit. So it's time for us to head back to the ranch. It's been a great get together, but as I always say, it's time to go. Nice ride today. Truly one of the nicest days of the year. Beautiful weather. It's really turning into a beautiful springtime. Beautiful riding season. I want to thank the healthcare workers. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. I already got my shot. Most of my friends have their shots already. We're on the road to recovery. Onward. <laughs> Let's hope I'm right. Anyway, I hope you did enjoy the video and thank you so much for watching. So the day just played out so well. Here we got some fast forward footage to share here. The ride home was really nice. It warmed up beautifully. I can't believe it. There's still a, a little bit of salt on the road, but not much. And we come home and we have to start making a plan of what we're going to be doing here. The next couple days we're going to be probably busy with some yard work. We've got to get a, some stone delivered and a couple of tons of stone. And we've got, a, oh, my, just so many things to do. I want to finish up the few loose ends I have in the shop because the real 100% riding season is coming just around the corner and I can't wait. It has been a long time coming. I think today was one of the first days we got together with friends. It was so worth getting through this winter, hopefully get through this COVID stuff. I can't wait. So I hope we'll see you tomorrow and hope we don't have too big of a delay in the videos. And thanks for watching.